Hello everybody, episode 3. Okay, so we're working on this car to make it faster. And one of the things that make those cars faster, it's aerodynamic. A lot of you just uh, think that you can just put a bigger batteries and go and run it with a bigger motor and everything. But there is some parts or aerodynamic that uh, you guys need to understand. I will show you guys a couple ideas right now that I have a patent pending on them. So all the big company that think that they can copy it, uh, you guys are going to be bad, bad luck to, to even try. So, aerodynamic for this vehicle. First thing, um, this thing, this, this corner over here, this, this thing right here, this bed thing over here, you need to get removed. Um, this will not give you the downforce that you think you will get. This will be like a major air brake. Um, this is important to keep you straight and keep some of the airflow for the wheel. This is pretty bad. Um, this you have to, to change, you have to cut it. Um, it's too bad that we don't have like a, a testing, like kind of air tunnel that we can actually put it with some smoke and show like how this creates like such a bad turbulence that it's literally like a parachute in front of the vehicle. Then I got all over the entire vehicle and I thought how can we make it faster by changing aerodynamic parts. Now, I deal with aircraft since I was a kid. Uh, I know a thing or two about aerodynamics, so I'm trying to apply some of it here. So, please pay attention. Don't forget, if you did not like, subscribe, and share yet, start doing that. Okay, so, first thing first. This is our car. This is our motor that we put on it. We have the big motor right there. I want you to pay attention where the motor sits. So, the motor is there, we're going to close the thing on top, and you see this fake vent over here? This is a big problem, okay? This aerodynamic, again, aerodynamic value of a corner that is actually, you can, anything that you can push your finger, it's, it's a bad thing. Um, you need to cut it open, okay? All of you guys, I don't care, whoever thinks that you know what they're talking about, obviously they don't. Cut it open, let air flow on your motor. 100 miles an hour air, cool down your engine, cool down your motor. We used to make it for nitro engine, cut open holes to cool them down. And what will happen is the air is going to flow from here, need to get out from somewhere. And we're going to go there in a minute, okay? So, open this thing up. Open that thing out. You must open it so you're gonna have like airflow inside of the vehicle. Again, those corners here, those are air brakes. If someone uh, assuming that I don't know what I'm talking about, just put some fan in front of your car and take like a charcoal or something, light it, shut it off, hold it with a needle nose plier or something, blow some air and see what happened here in this area. Now, so we're talking about opening this hole, we're talking about opening that hole, okay? Now, the air that's gonna go from here need to get out from somewhere. This somewhere could be here, where they put the fake vent. I believe that they don't make those holes for a reason that it's just gonna cost them a lot of money to do that for every car. So they're not gonna do it for you, even though that they can just laser cut it and then it's going to weaken a little bit the structure but it's, it's not a big deal you can actually put something to reinforce it it's not a big deal now here those three steps um if anybody noticed those are closed those thing on their first arma typhoon those thing came closed and then i cut them open in one of my videos and on version two and amazingly on version four they already come pre-cut from the factory i wonder why um so you have to open it as well so what will happen is the airflow from here will cool down your motor because some of it will come from here cool down your batteries you have two big batteries sitting here the airflow will cool them down helping you with your entire system to get it cooled down now they did make on the back of this there is those exhaust holes but it's funny that there is exhaust holes where we don't have actually entry so just just so you guys understand common sense 
those exhaust holes for air heat to come out why will you do exhaust holes on a vehicle when the front is completely closed and there is no opening for air underneath there is no air intake going anywhere and we're gonna to get to that in a second okay now so I'm gonna cut this and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna 3d print a cover for the motor Instead of putting a fan, I'm just going to make a 3D print of a, of a, of a cover, a sleeve that's going to go here from the air intake. So I'm going to save the weight of another two fans here and a battery and you don't really need it because 100 miles an hour air is much more than the speed of your fan that turn it about 20 miles an hour, okay? Just so you guys understand. So we're going to have air flowing from here, from this. We're going to make a sleeve going there covering that and it's going to cool the motor down okay this is one then the air can keep flowing cool down your batteries cool down your batteries and then when it's done it's going to go through the back and this is when it's thrown through the back it's going to end up getting out from those holes that you already made okay this is a little bit about aerodynamic okay please stay Play, stay tuned. Don't don't leave yet. Okay, it's 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 only we only starting about aerodynamic. This is very important. If you do this, you're gonna go faster. Having holes in your car will not slow it down because air going through it. You have to understand this. This is a big a big resistance. This is called parasitic drag. It's mean that it's a it's a parasite. It's it's taking it's slowing you down when the wheels are tearing in and they're not covered with anything. Okay, now. There is a major problem. This, this is a big parasitic drug. What it does, it slow you down significantly. Even though you have this here, this is stopping you completely, okay? This is like ruining your aerodynamic flow. So, what I did, I designed those pieces right now and I'm trying to see the best value with the best, it's look like kind of a clamshell. And what I'm gonna do is, those things gonna go right there and I set it up so it's gonna be able to fit here on this screw on the top the screw that actually hold the shock in place and those pieces are aerodynamic pieces like it's hard to do it in one hand let me try real quick okay so this piece is gonna go here in front of the motor it's a round piece in front of the motor in front of the shock and the airflow will help you flow air around your motor easier okay there it is so it's aerodynamic value versus this okay this versus that the air will flow from here and keep flowing and get in there smooth airflow give you speed very simple you don't need to be mathematician you don't have to have the green aerodynamic uh, round shape work better when they don't have anything here when you look at the shocks you have the springs, you have all these other pieces that's just slowing you down so much. Let's put another one right there, just so you guys see what I'm talking about. Let's see if it's gonna stay by itself. Almost. Let's see. Yeah. It's really need to be get screwed on. Okay, this is how it's look from the front. Okay, after we're going to cut this and make it lower, so they are going to flow. Now, we have a better aerodynamic value, a much better aerodynamic value. And I'm going to need to make another piece to cover here, the top, that will prevent drags on this. I'm maybe going to end up changing this entire thing to one piece that's going to start here, screw over there, and just close all this section. So we're going to get a massive airflow. And what we're doing is, is we using the airflow to go fast, more aerodynamic slick design, and we taking the air from here, making it smooth air going through the car, going through the engine, cooling it down and coming back out, going through the car and coming from the back to cool down your batteries. Now, that's being said, okay, and pay attention to what I'm saying right now. When you have fan on your motor and the car is standing still after a round, it's very important to cool, cool it down. So what you can do is just take a regular fan, you know, a $10 fan 
with a 12 volt a big fan and just as soon as you're done running the car put it on the side of the car outside cool it down you don't need to have it on the car take the weight of the fans take the weight of the aluminum uh, housing for the fan take the weight of the extra battery that we have to put a lot of people using another 7.4 all the way to 11 volt battery just to run the fan nothing to do with the car they're not hooking it up to the power of the car to 6s or 8s just not to slow it down okay so this is something it's very 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 important okay so i hope i help you please like and subscribe uh watch the next episode because next episode i'm going to do experimenting with some um, electric speed controllers with ESCs. I'm going to start with 150 amp cheap one that you can actually get uh, anywhere. Like for it's like Obi Wings I got from Red Cat Racing and I'm going to try. And then I'm going to go all the way and test it with the XLX2, the 8S. And see what the difference If it's actually do worth the money to, to spend it. Like, subscribe and share. See you in my next video. Bye.